The Last Leaf In a part of the city called Greenwich Village, three friends named Sue, Johnsy, and their friend Behrman lived. Johnsy got very sick, and pneumonia, a bad illness, touched her. She lay in bed, looking at the last leaf on a tree through her window, thinking that when it fell, she would also go away forever. Sue, worried for Johnsy, talked to a doctor. He said if Johnsy wanted to live, she had a chance. If not, his efforts wouldn't help. Sue tried to cheer Johnsy up, but Johnsy only thought about leaving when the last leaf fell. Behrman, an old painter who lived downstairs, heard about Johnsy. Despite the rain, he painted a leaf on the wall to give Johnsy hope. This made him sick, and sadly, he died. Sue still busy painting, covered the window for Johnsy. When Johnsy saw the last leaf surviving the stormy night, she understood. She wanted to live. She learned that Behrman, the old man, had painted that leaf as his best work before he died, giving her hope. Her Johnsy's wish to live returned, and she dreamed of painting the Bay of Naples some day. The last leaf and Behrman's sacrifice taught them that even when times are tough, hope and friendship can do amazing things. The doctor said Johnsy had good chances of getting better. As time passed, Johnsy got stronger. One morning, she said to Sue, I've been silly, Sue. The last leaf stayed, showing me how wrong I was. Wanting to go away was silly. I'll eat now. Sue and Johnsy cried and laughed in happiness. The doctor came later and said, She's getting better. Sue was happy and shared Behrman's story of kindness and the last leaf. So, the three friends found comfort and hope in each other. Johnsy's love for life grew, and the last leaf that had meant the end became a sign of new beginnings. The story of the last leaf teaches us that even when things are tough, the warmth of friendship and the light of hope can help us through the hardest times.